Right now, people in South Memphis are speaking up yet again about their health. They're frustrated they're not getting any answers. We've been telling you for about a year now how they were informed about potentially toxic emissions from a plant operated by Sterilization Services of Tennessee. And they've been emitting a chemical that's known to be dangerous. Stefan Reels is live downtown tonight where activists took their voices to county commissioners today. Stefan, what kind of feedback did they get? Well, Richard, these activists and residents were out here since the early morning hours, actually right behind me in front of the building, trying to see if they could find the Shelby County Health Department, who were expected to provide an update. However, that was not the case. So instead, they're asking county commissioners to have their backs in this very trying time. Black people deserve to be safe in their communities. People were concerned and fed up at the sterilization services of Tennessee for releasing ethylene oxide emissions. The emissions are said to contribute to 82% of the cancer risks in the South Memphis community. I don't even go outside. I don't even let my grandkids, my granddaughter go outside. Who wants cancer? Who wants respiratory problems? Who wants any health problems? Frustrated at entities leaving them with nothing but silence. We are tired of the silence. We have been met by silence from the Tennessee Department of um, Energy and Conservation. We have been met with silence from the Shelby County Health Department. Many residents and activists asking Shelby County commissioners for support. And the commissioners listened, promising they'll be behind them whether it's local, state, or a federal approach. So there's work that we need to do to be able to ensure that there's consistent information being brought whether you're here or whether you're not here. Passing a resolution on Wednesday to have groups like the EPA do just that and open up the floor for people to voice a way to fix the issue. We pay taxes uh, just like everybody else does. We want to live and without the threat of our lives being in danger and our health being in danger, our children being in danger as they grow up. Now, we also reached out to the Shelby County Health Department for a comment on the situation, and they said that they are still waiting on the findings from the studies they ordered. Meanwhile, the EPA, they say they're still reviewing their air regulations for ethylene oxide emissions. So while this was not the news a lot of people were hoping for, they say the fight is far from over.